In this video, I'm going to show you a super effective blitz that you can use against the Gun Bunch meta offense in Madden 22. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on those notifications, as I release new videos like this every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. Now, in this video, we're talking about the nickel triple defense, and I'm going to share with you a simple trick that you can use that will absolutely make your nickel triple defense, I think, a significantly a much better defense, especially for Gun Bunch. This is a great five-man pressure that we're going to be able to to use uh, in certain situations to create some a gap pressure as well as some consistent edge heat out of the nickel triple now like i said if you're new to the channel turn on those notifications also if you want to get my full nickel triple defensive ebook there is a link in the description of this video and it's on sale right now for just 15 dollars. so all you got to do to get it is go down click that link it'll take you right over to the website so that you can get the defense now, nickel triple is a great formation. It's a really unique formation. There's a lot of things that you can do uh, with this formation. One of the things that you can do is if you run the Tampa 2 or if you run the cover 6, which are two of my favorite coverages in the game, all we're going to do is flip this play. And what you're going to notice here is it's going to put this linebacker in the gap, and then you're going to be able to use her on this linebacker. So if you show blitz, what that's going to do is you're going to see now we've created a significant weighted coverage to this side. So let me give you an example of a couple things we could do. We could just man lock this backside guy. So we could put him in man coverage. And then from there, we could do a lot of different things. One of those things is we could put this guy right here into a deep half uh, coverage. And then we could take this guy right here and we could put him into all kinds of different coverages that we might want to. Um, and then we can basically, like I said, roll the coverage. Or another example is we could put this guy in an inside third and roll the coverage in this direction just like this. So there's a lot of things that we can do to get kind of creative with this coverage. But the beauty of this is it gives you a significant weighted coverage to the bunch side. And if you wanted to, you could use this guy as well or you could use her this guy. Either one of those guys are really good players to use her. And you see here we get two corners off this edge if we wanted to play man coverage we could do that as well which is again one of the reasons why i really like this formation because we can weight the coverage across bunch just like that now for the blitz setup it's actually really simple once we flip the play we're just going to blitz our linebackers and then what i like to do is i like to stand kind of right here uh, with this guy i like to kind of hover right here with this linebacker and then at the snap of the ball i'm just going to come down just for a second and right there we didn't get anybody that's par probably because i was at the line of scrimmage for too long so let me show you that one more time again we're just going to flip show blitz you don't have to show blitz but i like to for a from a coverage perspective and then you're just going to kind of stand in front of the guard and at the snap of the ball as you see we're getting edge and a gap pressure right at the quarterback this is one of the best blitzes in the game it's one of the most effective blitzes and it's honestly super simple to say up again literally you just flip and you're going to blitz all your linebackers and as you see you're going to get that pressure right through the a gap at your opponent what this is going to cause your opponent to have to do is it's going to cause them to have to block their running back so you're going to see here now they're going to block the running back and as you see the five man pressure is completely picked up they have freedom to be able to pass the ball and do whatever they want another way they could pick this blitz up is simply by putting the tight end on a delay fade so let me show you what that looks like and again, here the delay fade picks the pressure up. Not doesn't pick it up as well, but it does pick the pressure up. So the splits is not unstoppable. It is able, there is an easy way for them to be able to stop this, but this is a great blitz, in my opinion, to force them to have to at least respect the fact that you can send pressure out of this formation, and the pressure is going to come so fast through the A-gap. That's the beauty of this blitz, is the pressure comes right through the A-gap. Now, let's say, for example, that you're watching this and you say, you know what, Cody, I want to be able to get pressure against a blocked running back. Well, one of the beauties of the nickel triple formation is that if we run this blitz and we take this guy right here and man him up on the running back, oftentimes, even if they block their running back, you're going to see here that we're going to continue to get pressure. Now, you might need to get off of that guy as your user, though. So let me show you an example of what that might look like. So we're going to flip. We're going to put the, the blitz, and then we're going to show blitz. And remember, we have this plus one advantage. So we can poach with this backside safety and bring him down right into this gap, just like we did with the linebacker. Now, as you can see, if they block the running back, we're going to hold left trigger right here, come right in this area just like this. And oftentimes, that middle linebacker will come down and be able to give it, create some pressure. It wasn't working for me right there, but I will tell you that this is fairly consistent. You might just need to blitz your user. And I'll show you what that looks like here. So again, I'm just going to blitz this guy. And as you can see, 
we're going to put ourselves in a decent position. Now, it won't work against the block tight end. It will force him to have to block the tight end. But And, and of course, not working for me right there. But uh, anyways, the pressure is actually relatively effective. Part of this is we've ran this blitz a lot back to back. And so sometimes that can make the blitz a little bit less effective. If you, if you also... Um, also, if you show blitz, and then, like I said, you're going to kind of sit, like, right in here. You can sit here. You can sit here. There's different parts, places where you can stand uh, to make this blitz super effective. And, again, against a blocked running back, as you can see, for the most part, it's picking it up. But I will tell you that in game, I find that this blitz works a lot more consistently against a blocked running back than it does in practice mode. But the beauty of this is, you know, you have really good pressure uh, just by sitting five. It's just a simple five-man blitz, nothing too crazy. And, as you can see, it's A-gap pressure to me the a gap pressure is really what makes us special because we're coming right in the quarterback's face it's really hard to avoid the pressure he can't step up into the pocket if he steps up into the pocket it's going to make it worse as you can see right there so to me this is one of my favorite blitzes because it's super simple just flip blitz and flip your play global blitz your linebackers and then you're just going to use her this guy uh, right there i got a i kind of moved him out of the primary spot where he should be but again super simple pressure takes next to nothing to set this up and allows you a ton of time to be able to adjust your coverage and behind it but that is the nickel triple blitz against bunch in my opinion this is one of the better plays there's obviously a ton of other things that we can do to get pressure in this game this is just one concept but it's one of my favorite concepts now i do want to real quickly show you one other thing real quick before we go and if you want to get the entire defensive ebook it will help you because it will show walk you step by step through all of this stuff but um, another thing that you could do is you could you don't have to, to flip your play um, if you show blitz and you stay or not show blitz but if you globally blitz your linebackers and stand over here as well oftentimes we will get that that defensive tackle through the pressure uh, we're not getting it right there but oftentimes i've found that that will work as well so you could easily just do this and come over here like so and then snap the ball you see there's that a gap pressure from the d tackle so now what this allows us to do if you think through this all the way through bunch is now we have a linebacker on this side that we can man up and you know okay th this will this will occasionally uh get you some pressure we just need to add an add another blitzer so like that right there now we're blitzing this and i find this to be one of the best blitzes in the game because you can oftentimes get a looping pressure as well but anyways there's so much we can talk about about the nickel triple and if you want to learn everything about it get the defensive ebook it's on sale in the description for just 15 dollars. all you have to do to get it is go down to the description click the link that i put down there for you it'll take you right to the website where you can get the defensive ebook for just 15 bucks.